Men det är sant. Kan en breakfast become more prettier? I don't think so. Yum! Yum. A pile of yummy ice cream. So this day I recorded for the video healthy meals I make when busy. Go and check that out if you haven't already. So I'm using some leftover rice to make a very quick and easy stir fry. Um, so I'm using a peanut butter based sauce which is so so good. If you have leftover rice on hand this is a perfect recipe. You can also use noodles if you have them. It is also yeah the recipe can be found in the video that I made. We've always been those people who like living small. You don't need like too much space to survive. But since we got Alina, we felt we really need an extra room. We are gonna look at an apartment in the same building actually, with an extra room. We can have an office, uh, finally. Having pineapple for snack. This is so sweet and juicy. And I'm also working on the app, adding new recipes and planning new recipes. shower and dressed up a little bit. Feels so much better to start a work day. And since I've been sleeping pretty bad after uh, having Alina, this has been my savior because it gives me energy um, instead of pounding coffee all day long. You've probably already seen this. It is so good. It is AG1 and it is actually today's sponsor. So thank you AG1 for sponsoring today's video. So AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition drink which gives you a great foundation of nutrients. So in just one scoop there are 75 ingredients that are carefully sourced to nourish your body and they source every ingredient for the highest possible quality by following the latest science. So it's not like the usual greens powder. I really love this because it does really taste great. And it's so convenient that you can get so many nutrients into your body in such an easy way. Just a scoop, some water and you're all set. And now in summertime I really like adding ice to it. You should try it. Anyways, and this is also such a great add-on to your morning routine. Like imagine starting the day nourishing your body, setting a healthy tone for the rest of the day. So if you want to try them out, AG1 is kindly giving my community a free one year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five travel packs if you're using my link drinkag1.com slash Alexandra Anderson. And they ship worldwide by the way, so definitely check them out. The link is in my description box down below. 
for lunch I recorded another recipe for the video healthy meals I make when busy. Um, I can link the card above here so you can find it. So it is basically a tray bake with chickpeas, potatoes and veggies. And these kind of recipes, they're not like quick but they're so easy because they take care of themselves in the oven while you do other things. You can also make a dressing like I made here. It's a yogurt mint dressing. Very refreshing um, yeah it's delicious you can find the recipe in the video as I said or in my app today we're having an early dinner because I recorded the last recipe in my video I'm not saying the video name again <laughs> So it is a one pot creamy pasta, I'm using whole wheat pasta and a base of uh, tomatoes which I'm making creamy with a cashew sauce because I love my pastas creamy and yeah this one is so so good. It is a harissa pasta, you can also find the recipe in the video or in my recipe app. Pastas are really something we eat a lot in our household, um, especially now when we are extra busy. It's so quick and easy to throw together a pasta with a cashew sauce. My go-to quick granola, if you don't have like any time doing granola, just toast, seeds, nuts and oats in a pan and add some maple syrup, sprinkle of salt and voila, you have a granola. Perfect! When you can do this, you know it's perfect. <laughs> Dinner, I decided to make some quesadillas, but I didn't have any like vegan cheese or anything. So I made up a hummus cheesy thing with just hummus and spices and uh, vegan yogurt. And then I added the things I found in my fridge. So black beans, tofu, corn kernels, tomato, bell pepper, onion, garlic. And I just sauteed that with lots of spices, paprika, cumin, salt, and added some water so that everything can soak and simmer. Yeah, you get it, the flavors. <laughs> this was actually such a great way to add um, hummus to your quesadillas because it stuck and yeah, you don't need any cheese for this. Tastes like a milkshake. It's raining still, so grocery shopping. <laughs> For lunch. 
mash. I'm making a quick summery one even though it's raining. Um, but here is just mashed white beans with some spices and dill. Important to have dill in this one. I'm also gonna add some artichokes in here. It is this recipe with some modifications. Classic Spanish patata tortilla. If you come to Spain, this is the thing you typically eat first. So usually they're not vegan, but in this one they have chickpeas instead of eggs. It is delicious. And there she woke up. <laughs> That's one big difference in having Alina eating my food cold. So I'm just working a little bit with uh, this video and also having some snacks. It is pineapple and dried apricots. Cold dried apricots is the best. One perk of having my sister work with us is that she can cook. She is great at it, actually. So today she's gonna make us her go-to burrito. And the sauce here was just some avocado, lime juice, cilantro and some coconut yogurt and spices. Salt and onion powder I think, or garlic powder. And I love having her here. She, her name is uh, Emma and uh, she said that ever since she started working with us she has got so inspired eating more plant-based, um, yeah, which really warms my heart. Mm -hmm. 